Good morning, Russ here, Trim Porters. Um, we're going to install this uh, fridge today. It's a 12 volt compressor fridge from Isotherm. It's the CR49L, so the 49 litre cruise series model. Um, lovely bit of kit. Um, complete with a freezer compartment. Inside. You get an instruction manual. Outlines all the details required for the installation of the fridge itself, including securing and gap clearances for air. Also included are some rubber stoppers go in and cover the screw heads from where you secure the fridge into the side wall of your unit. And another neat trick, they also include a fuse holder, a cover for your fuse, and also a 15 amp fuse. So there's no guesswork involved. Need to do is make sure, as uh, we spoke about before, that your cabling is suited to your application of use. So, in this case, we are running a four millimeter cable from the battery through to the fridge itself. Uh, we don't go through a fuse box and share with our loads. The cable is direct to the battery. Or if you have a bus bar, direct to the bus bar. So, <clears throat> as we can see here, I'll show you a bit closer. I've already terminated these ends, but I need to terminate the cables that end as well. Then we can look to attach the fuse and get the fridge installed and get the fridge fixed ready to go so catch you soon okay so what we have in the fridge if we can see we have four plastic bungs these bungs need to be removed because behind there will be the entry point that we're going to put the screws through that fix into the side of the unit. So, plastic trim tool, take the caps off. do is expose the entry point through the van <coughs> through the wall of the fridge so screw through here and they attach to the walls of the unit so <coughs> What we tend to do is grab ourselves a 2mm drill bit, drill the hole ourselves first. This for all four holes. The 
holes are drilled, drilled first. That gives us less opportunity to slip with the drill when we're trying to screw with a screw. So now the fridge can be moved into position within the within the unit itself. In some cases, the cable may be wired before the fridge is fed in. Uh, if, for example, you've already fitted the sink or you don't have any access to, but in this case, with this unit, we do so we can actually terminate the cables after we've installed the fridge. So once we have the fridge back in a position we're possibly happy with, we need to check the operation of the door to make sure the door can still open and close. In this case, along this line, the door's hitting, so the fridge itself needs to come out of touch. As long as there's clearance on the door for its opening and closing operation, it'll be fine. Once you're happy with situation, um, what we need to do is check the screw depth. So we know the fridge is good now. What I'll do is remove the fridge. check to make sure that the screw I use the screw I use isn't too long so where it comes out of the van out of the fridge I don't actually want that screw to then come out of my unit side So in this case, this screw was far too long. That's 25mm screw. Two more. to a 20 and see if 20 is okay. So for me a 20 is still too long. Next size down from the 20 is a 16. Bearing in mind, the units are generally made from 15mm laminated ply. A 16mm will be just perfect for the job. So, consider your screw length when you're installing the fridge. We don't want any screws poking out the side here.
pour les autres. gaps, making sure they're okay. While always checking your door function. The fridge itself has about six inches behind before it hits the uh, supply panel of the van at the back. Um, in this case that's perfectly suitable. What I'll do now is screw the fridge into place. So now we can screw the fridge into place. process on the other side while still checking your door functions now secure. We have a good line across the top. Fridge opens without impact. Now we can look at terminating the cables from the fridge to our loom that we've installed. Okay, so through here we get access to the back of the fridge. And then here are the two cables that I've terminated. The yellow terminals with the four millimeter cable within, heat shrunk and protected. I will go a step further now and add plastic conduit to the back of that cable. Split conduit, same as I spoke about in the last video. As I said before, all our cable gets wrapped in it. We don't take much to chance. So, take a rough estimation of the length of the cable. Cable. What we can do is push on down the conduit. Now 
that's now added an extra layer of protection there you know at the end of the day it's next to the sink it's next to a gas hob might as well add some extra protection for the sake of probably six pence and it's worth it so next up we can look at terminating these two cables as you can see they're taped together and we're labelled fridge purpose being I know that when I look around at the cables that have been pulled through in the van I know exactly what they're for to prepare these cables what I normally do as a matter of course is cut the cables back 10 15 millimeter uh, just purely to give us clean ends you know this cable this cable could have been sat on a reel for six months you, you never know you know and the, the, the difference in the color from a, a fresh cut cable I don't know if you can quite see really but yeah clean cut ends goes away to giving us a better connection so we'll get the components ready for that now okay so we have our two cables good to go first as before using strippers take back the protective sheathing to reveal the cable strands we can now add our yellow terminals because it is a too thick a cable to be able to drop down to the blue yellow marker crimp down on the cable that's secure so this is the live cable so we add some live <coughs> Sorry, and some red heat shrink. And because I'm using a hot air gun, I'll be blowing against this board instead of. Trying to set That's now got heat shrink around. We'll follow the same practice for the earth. Again, making sure, I mean, 
if I'm playing around with cable here. I want to be making sure I get all of them within the terminal. As before, this time we're going to use black to shrink down over the terminal. sure I'll get as much as that covered as possible. I don't want the heat shrink on the tail end of the terminal. I want it high up towards the top of the terminal at the very least. shrunk. Now what we can do is look at connecting up these terminals. And as I spoke about in the last video, you know, um, in this principle I will be adding another sleeve to go over both cables. And cool down a minute because the gain the, the 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 fridge idea is a bit and forget you know the this this fridge is now going to be in here for for the life of the conversion really there's no there's no uh, need to remove the fridge. connect up these cables red to red black to black and then move the sheathing over both the terminals So they'll both be covered. We'll get our protective board again. We can shrink this down. end of the cable incomplete. Super strong, well protected, insulated. Of course when I feed up more of the conduit, the conduit can feed in and have protection again. Like so. Be 
and we can cable manage this part. with sticky tabs and cable ties or screw fittings through the ply this can all be managed not a problem the cable's fully protected so we're happy with that and the last thing to do is to pop our protective caps over our screw heads and if you see it and see inside already they come with the sponge bungs on the caps already so we can now install them. That is the installation of the fridge. So the inline fuse connector that will sit towards the battery end. And uh, the 15 amp wheel, the fuse will protect the cable because the 4 millimeter square cable will carry a lot more than 15 amps. So, with regards to fusing, your fuse size needs to be smaller than your cable rating. You don't want to put a 15 amp cable on a 5 amp, uh, sorry, a 15 amp fuse on a 5 amp cable. The fuse will never blow. The cable's not protected. If there's a problem, the cable could catch fire. So that's the Isotherm Cruise Series 49 litre fridge. Lovely bit of kit, brushed metal finish. Installed into this Vivaro camper. We'll catch you soon for the next instalment regards electrics for this fan. Cheers for watching.